Hello and welcome my friends to Mountain Blades Viking Conquest Reforged Edition. Just so you know, this series will run three times a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Uh, so if you want to hang on to this series, then know those are the three days that you want to pop back in here. Now I know this uh, series, or this, actually, this version, it's uh, quite story heavy. It will be absolutely a pain and horror for me, but I'm hoping we'll be doing fine. As for my options, got no music because I will be adding my own uh, music, at least not my own music. The music is always provided to me by um, people that are very into music. And um, I'm actually thinking this might be the second person that is uh, delivering music to me. Uh, so in the description you will always find a link to the uh, channel and perhaps even the social media. Uh, these are my options at the moment. I've decreased the battle size to 500 because I'm not sure how this mod will go into performance. Video options. I put some things back on low. Estimated performance is 33%. So yeah, that, that's about it guys. That's about it. So... As the very first episode of this series, I could only ask you to spend that two seconds of your time and just pounding the like button. That would really increase the range of this video and its series. And hopefully we are going to have a wonderful, a wonderful time. Now without further ado, we are going to start a new game. This is the very first time me trying this one out. So I have no clue. We are going on a storyline campaign. I've been uh, set to do the um, normal difficulty. Because the mod can be very, very, well, uh, difficult. So, normal all around. Apart from the player damage, I will reduce this. Actually, I, I should have just kept it on, on custom. Is this my... how the AI is acting? Really? I don't want that. I didn't know that. Rest improves morale. <laughs> yes, please. Battle size. Um, oh, wow. Limit the maximum amount of trips on the battlefield at once. If, you exper if you're experiencing low performance in big battles, you should try reducing the battle size. A battle size above the engine maximum of 300. It's kind of weird that they say, you know, 700. Can I just go to the 5? Really? Come on, I, I just... Okay, 500. Uh, disable cinematics. No, we're not. Insane difficulty. It, oh, wow. Double the damage. Gore. Yes, please. I like gore. Replace music in battles. Disable music in battles and add more ambient sounds. But I have already have my music off. So, uh, player division. That's all fine. Disable complex formation. No. Tur uh, auto turn away to face the enemy. Sure. Player enemies. Players enemies only attack. The army opposing the player never takes defensive positions. I hate defensive positions. Not because I, I just hate. They're slow. They are not going forward. Now, recruitment is normal, leveling, normal, and budget, normal. This is what we'll be playing. This is the difficulty. This is what you'll have to do with it. Now, we are in the 9th century. Long gone are the lights of Rome, absorbed by the tide of time. Yet, several centuries remain until the golden age of knights and princesses to come. It is a brutal, dark, and rootful era. Uh, of raw strength and survival where men go to bed every night praying to see a new day it is the age of the Viking the cleanse of Ireland 
uh, the ascension of Wessex and the emerance of the kingdom of Alba. It awaits you. So this is the map. Anno the mini. Okay, cool. Awesome map. It's actually a lot. Oh, look at that. Um, I am living about here in Tilburg. So in the Netherlands. Continue. Now, who are you? Uh, that is a very, very good question. Um, let's see, because I have looked up someone uh, that we are going to be playing as. It is a, um, a historical character. Okay, so these are going to be my options. I've gone over the historical data that has um, been of the character. And I will tell you about it once we have created our character. So, as for a banner. There is nothing I could find of this person's banner. So, we are just going to pick something that is uh, okay-ish. Now, as for the name. I have chosen... Olaf Try seven. Let's see if I spelled it correctly. So Olaf um Trigvas Trigvasen. Yes, Trigvasen. Whatever. This is the name. You can look this up on Google. He is um one of the well known Vikings that whatever were. Um he's also the one who brought Christianity to Norway. Now I'm, as you know, I'm not much of a Christian, but um, I think this is good. This could be fun. So, as for the story, a grandson of Harold Fairhair, the first king to unite Norway. Olaf was born around 968, and is thought to be raised in Russia following the death of his father in 991. Olaf led a Viking invasion of England. Which resulted in a victory at the Battle of Melden. Afterwards, the English paid off the Vikings in an effort to prevent future attacks. At least temporary. This type of payment became known as Danegeld. In 994, Olaf and his ally, allies um, Sven Folkbeard, King of Denmark, launched another attack on England and netted themselves more at Dengeld. The following year, Olaf used his loot to invade Norway and was made king after his rule. Hakon the Great was murdered as king. Olaf forced his subjects to convert to Christianity before that. Most Scandinavians were pagans who worshipped a number of gods. Olaf's actions earned him enemies among this his one-time ally Sven Folkbeard, who wanted to restore Danish rule to Norway. And Eric of Jerden, son of Hakon, in, thousand, in, in the year 1000. Olaf was murdered by his rivals in a battle at sea. However, instead of surrendering, he supposedly jumped over the side of a ship and was never seen again. That is the story um, as far as I could find it on the history.com So uh, yeah, I, I think it will be great Now we are heavy on, on strength and agility because uh, we are a combat based character I would like to be a infantry type guy in here uh, That is a number of, um, of skills that we can go So let me go over them and I'll see you once I fill these in Okay so I have increased agility to 15 into 8 and charisma to 6. Didn't change the strength. I put some points into um, athletics to 5. Trainer to 4. A pathfinding 3. Inventory management 3. And, and that was all of the points. Now I'm reckoning I, I want to have like a two handed weapon. A one handed a shield and throwing weapons. Uh, so let's just start by the two handed weapons because I usually go for that in an instance. Now he should have a massive beard. Can we have like a beard with moustache? Not only the moustache please. And I'm looking at that. Is that another? Yes this is the perfect 
perfect beard looking at his image uh, his hair I think he was a, a blonde person because if he was from Scandinavia the most there are, are still quite quite blonde oh I'm so sorry if I'm doing like ethic proposition or something like that I'm not even sure if that's a word by the looks of it we are getting a spear and a shield so uh, let's just go done you can't sleep you hear the constant crutch of the boat's hull smell see um, smell see brine and feel the breeze carelessly care, um, care sing your face but your eyes are closed and refuse to open and your minds keep dreaming remembering other times a past life that feels far away and that you remember less every day even though not many months have passed since your departure and this is on the departure from uh, Russia back to Norway now the future is uncertain your journey brought you to Frisian Frisian seas hoping to find news about an old sorcerer who asks who takes care of all ills because your mother is sick for her you left everything behind a world you knew like the back of your hand and paid for passage on, the, on a northern boat a punch mercenary punchy merchant man it's slow and clumsy but a uh, but its captain has promised to take you to a remote part of freeze where the sorcerer lives your mother travels with you nobody else had joined you her illness progresses and there are days when she no longer recognizes you but she appears to be completely sound other times okay uh-huh sound at the time that's it okay okay every morning you wake up not knowing which day it will be you uh, will you be to converse with her or will you be tying her to a post so she doesn't fall overboard you need to wake up though your eyes supposed to be okay well let's just continue as i said there's a lot uh west hull hull um, Olaf, are you well today? You were moving violently in your sleep and saying incomprehensible things. My sailors thought you were being tormented by a spirit. Where am I? What is this place? Oh, this is bad. You don't remember anything. My name is Ave Loaf. I am the captain of the ship, the wooden rig. You embarked with us on freeze some weeks ago, paying well for us taking care. Yes, I remember now. Oh, don't worry. Thank you. Uh, we found a bit of a wreckage. Half sunken ships look like. Okay, well. Oh, well, I'm still worried. Uh, I'm not going to read everything. This is a tutorial. You'll learn the basic movements, interaction, and combat. I don't trust any one of them. Talk to Bodo. Uh, he should be around here somewhere. Oh, a good day, Olaf. It's good to see you are well. You are giving us fry, talking in your sleep. I'd hate to be in one of those troubling dreams. I'm fine, nothing to worry about. Perhaps not. At this rate, it's good to see you up, uh, my friend. Tell you the truth, I'm still a little bit foggy. Uh, my name is... Well, I'm a Bodo. I am a Bodo. Oh, no, I am Bodo. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Pronunciation. I hail from Cambridge, Kingdom of Austria. Awesome. If you or ever or want to do everything, talk to the veteran to practice some combat. No. Uh, I think I need to go to this boat. Okay, we'll have to fight him another time. First, I'm ready for some practice. Yes, I am. Yeah, it's not that much. I, I could die still. You know me, when I, when I start opening my mouth, my complete and other focus is gone. Yeah! Everybody, back to the ship! Hurry! Oh, we're, we're in trouble. What's happened? Keep quiet. Listen, we're in danger. As we were watching your fight, two long ship arrived. 
Now I can see the banner. It's Van Bullneck. Ah, oh, damn it. You better pray to whatever god you worship. Hell, if you will, pray for those you don't. Doesn't matter. Ah, oh, I knew this. We shouldn't have stopped. Yeah, well, for all it's worth. Oh, fight. I am yet with you. Okay. Wish I had the bow. Now, I've heard that sea battle in this mod can be very, very difficult. Especially fighting these guys. Let's see if we can kill one. I don't think so, because these guys... We are not supposed to be winning. Oh no! Everybody got themselves killed. Okay, strange, you've been asleep, but you can't remember any nightmares. What do you remember? Certain were Viking warriors boarding the wooden brick, uh, plunging their weapons into the bodies of the captain and sailors, and Bodo. The captain defend themselves as a lion until cornered. You hear his words or for your constant. Olaf, fight! I'm yet with you! You remember the death, your death, when your enemies fell upon you. You still feel the wooden floor in the boat smashing into your cheek before you could hardly breathe a goodbye to your to your world your eyes yet and met your mother just before the end as a huge viking dressed in iron could he be Sven cracked her hat with his spear and threw her body to the side you crawled leaving a trail of blood preferring to give your body to the fish but you remember no more are you deaf but if you are dead, why do you feel a sore muscle, sore muscles of your body, or the heat from a nearby fire? How is it that you can um, clench your hands, open your eyes, and distinguish the beams of a roof over you? If you are alive, then who saved you? Why and how? Wow. We were. This is a healer. Is this the witch? No, he, he's definitely a male. Are oh, you awake? It's good to see that you can still walk. You're lucky, foreigner. Some god had watched over you. Then they brought you here. You were more dead than alive. So, where am I? Uh, you were close to death, conscious for two weeks. Fishermen found you in nearby coast, clinging to a plank. You were barely breathing and your body was covered with wounds. They brought you here so that I could heal you. Uh, Decker, where am I in freeze? Uh, are you the old sorcerer? The man who curses all these illnesses? No! <laughs> uh, one man could claim such fame. People from around the world come to search for cur curses at this door. They were so numerous that they came up with uh, the trial of Doc Dokinma. Okay, whatever. This man died a year ago. Oh! He's dead. That's a shame. Many like you have been here since the death of my father, leaving everything for the promise of a cure that I cannot give them. I'm sorry, but the skill of my father died with him. Oh. Oh well. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, now, this mod, it has a ton of quests in them. And that's absolutely brilliant. That's what, I, what I've what i seen and what I, I think it's, it makes this mod so incredibly good. Uh, I think I just tap out. Wow, this is uh, a lot, a lot to read. Uh, please uh, read the following carefully because the gameplay varies slightly from the sandbox campaign. The story follows its own development path, and you decide you make. So every story that you'll do will change whatever you're doing. That's absolutely amazing. Uh, so in addition. To standard gaming mechanism, this means you won't be able to jo freely join any kingdom or serve any king, except when allowed to do so. The behavior of kingdoms, especially those important to story and in history, will follow the chronology of history events as such as possible. As a result, these kingdoms may not yeah, be destroyed if they were def not defeated historically. So, you can try to take over the entire world, but if it's not in history, then it will make little difference. Uh, moreover, 
You won't be able to get rid of your companion companions. Grant them thieves or make them vessels as you long uh, as long as you're playing the storyline. As many of your companions are important to many missions, it's critical that they remain a part of your warband. So that's good to know. It took many months to build and research Viking Conquest storyline using historical sources, sagas, sources, sagas and deep love for the Viking world. We do hope you enjoy as much as we did. Well, I think we should be able to do so. But here we are, guys. We are actually in what one day will be the Netherlands, uh, Belgium, France, of course the United Kingdoms. Wow, it's actually... I, I wish I could zoom out more, but I can't. So, Denmark, Norway. Where are we? Now, we should be going up there. What do we have as an inventory? So, we have actually lost everything. I do like how it all looks. Uh, we got some bread, 150, adds 4 to party morale, and we are very poor. So, that is... Where I'm going to leave off this episode, I'm sorry, I, I wish I wish we were a bit further, but um, we're not. So, let me know what you think about the historical name that I've chosen. And, um, what, do you, what is your overall expectancy and what is your overall idea of this mod? Or actually, it's, it's like a full game. I think they've done an amazing job and I'm very happy that I'm able to play it now. I've never tried it, ever. This is my very first game experience on this mod. So, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.